You're listening to Paul Alcohol, and it's about to get real. On tonight's show, Porn and Prom Unite! Mark Zuckerberg's getting sued and his wife is still hot. Find out what I think about zombies. And Barack Obama tells a blowjob joke. Or so the media would have you believe. Just stick around. the Paul Alcohol Show, where I tell you about current or recent events that are happening that I think are hilarious or awesome or really crappy or whatever I think. This is the new format. You'll notice a couple different things if you've seen my show before. And if you haven't seen my show before, you won't notice anything because you've never seen it. One, I'm in color because I got really sick of black and white. Black and white just got old to me, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're doing color. And two, I have a new intro. I never had an intro before, and I thought, let's do an intro, and I got my buddy Friday Night Queen on PocketBand.net. And if you have an Android phone, as I do, you might want to check out PocketBand, especially if you're a musician. It's really fun. You can do to have like a blast, or you can be like all serious about it. You can make all kinds of beats. You can record your vocals. You can even make them sound good through a phone. But anyways, we are here to discuss things that I find funny, and since I've taken a hiatus from the vlogging thing lately, I thought I would bring up some things that happened that I wanted to talk about, but couldn't because I wasn't vlogging. I've had family in town, and it's been really hectic, so I'm going to catch up on things, so if this is like past news to you, then just watch something else. I don't care. Anywho, the first thing I'm going to talk about is pretty awesome. Uh, prom, a prom was held in a Miami convention center on the same day, at the same time, as a porn convention. I think it was called Exotical Expo or something like that. It had three X's for exotical. <coughs> oh, coughing. <laughs> Let's see. For those of you who don't know what prom or porn is, you're probably stupid, but I'll explain just in case. Prom is where teenagers dress up in fancy and or slutty outfits, arrive in a limo, drink punch, and gyrate their hips to crappy pop music. Porn is where adults dress up in fancy and or slutty outfits, arrive in a limo, do drugs, and gyrate their hips to crappy lounge music. So you can see automatically they're completely different. But what really gets me about this porn and prom being held in the same convention center is that the organizers knew about it. They knew that this was happening, they just didn't give a crap. Which made me laugh. And a lot of parents weren't happy. I, I would imagine the moms weren't that happy, but the dads were like, <laughs> I'll volunteer. A record-breaking number of father volunteer chaperones for the prom. I'm sure there were more records broken, like the most high fives given in a prom, which probably caused a third record that was, you know, the first time in history that exotic entertainment caused a mass number of teenage boys to hurt their wrists while not jerking it to porn. I mean, I mean, look at these pictures of the porn convention. That's not the porn convention. That's... Oh, those are prom pictures? Because they're slutty. Okay. The only real difference between porn and prom is that porn stars are paid to be mega sluts. Oh, ho, 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 snap! I went there. Then I came back. I went there again. But speaking of sluts, another story I'd like to talk about is Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. He was all like, let's do this, and signed Facebook as, like, stock options, so you can buy stock in Facebook. Now, anytime this happens with something like Facebook or MySpace, you know it's a bad investment, because, yeah, I mean, have you been on Facebook lately? Everybody hates it. We still use it because it's, like, a great way to communicate with each other, but it's also a great way to just piss people off. The early investors were like, yeah, let's do this. Facebook's got stocks. We're going to be billionaires. We're already millionaires, but it's going to be better. And so they invested in Facebook. And then what happened? Oh, the stocks are going up for Facebook. Holy crap. The damn roller coaster. 
So the early investors sued, and this happens a lot in the stock market, but to me that's kind of a really stupid thing to do. That's like suing your church basketball league for not telling you you could lose a game. But hey, let's keep those billionaires in our prayers. Oh, what? Zombies. Recently, a man who was apparently on bath salt, which is not salt you wash yourself with. No, it is stuff that you either inject or snort or eat or I don't know. I don't do it, but whatever. This guy was on some kind of drugs and he went ape shit and ate this dude's face. And I know everybody's seen the pictures. We all know about the story. I'm not going to go into mega details, but I am going to say that I wasn't really sold on him being a zombie until I read more into it and realized that when they told the guy to stop and they had a gun to him, like, stop and I'll shoot. He growled and just kept eating the guy's face. I would be freaked out. I, and I would have killed the guy too. I mean, just dude's a zombie, man. He just freaking growled. Barack Obama was under some heat for telling a blowjob joke. Now, it really wasn't a blowjob joke. People just made it that way. The media's dirty minds went, hey, that could be a blowjob joke, you know what I'm saying? And we were like, yeah, good, let's do it. But honestly, he didn't really tell a blowjob joke. He was just talking about Michelle and her friend in some sort of push-up contest, and he said Michelle doesn't go all the way down. America has dirty minds. Barack Obama should have known that and probably figured it out at some point, but it's not like he wrote the speech. Some other guy wrote the speech. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like, just like, oh, the president told a blowjob joke. Oh, God, the world's going to end. How about focusing on more important things like the National Defense Authorization Act, which Obama signed, or the fact that Obamacare is going to be passed and all this crap. There's a bunch of stuff that we should really be worried about instead of Barack Obama telling a job a blow black. I can't talk. Low job joke. Sorry. <laughs> All this crap and the economy is so crappy and I'm still looking for a job and I can't find a job. And I've applied at like 4 billion places and I wish I was exaggerating. But I've seriously put in so many applications I can't even remember what dates I used to work at certain places anymore. I'm like, wait, was that 2002? It doesn't matter. Just write something. I'm tired of filling out applications. I'm sick of it. I wish I was a billionaire so I wouldn't have to do all this crap. I'm so sick of everything. Like, like everyone's like, well, he was handed a big pile of crap. No, Obama wasn't handed a pile of crap. He fought for it. He wanted this bad economy. He wanted to fix it. He wanted to get in there. He ran a horrible, crazy campaign against Hillary Clinton. And once he was in that, he went against John McCain. And John McCain and him went neck and neck. And then Obama won the presidency. And he fought to get this economy that everyone's like, oh, well, you should give him a little time. No, he promised things. He broke them like every president before him. He's no different than any president that's gone before him because he made a promise and he broke it. But I don't hate Obama because every time I see him on TV, I can't help but laugh at him or with him. He's hilarious. He's like really slick and chill, you know? He's like the coolest president we've ever had. And he's a black dork and I love black dorks, man. Like I'm like the most cool people in the world are black dorks. Donald Glover, black dork. Kanye West, black dork. And one more thing before I wrap this show up, I did notice that there is a bear on my neighborhood and he is like terrorizing it at night. Trash cans are knocked over, like my grandma's bird feeder was all bent up and there was no more bird seed in it. She's like, I gotta buy a new one. I'm like, ah. And I helped my grandma put up the bird feeder. So, hey bear, you're a douche. Bears are douchebags, which is why I want to see Ted because Ted looks like a douchebag and he's a bear. Teddy bear, but still. Anywho, that's all I have for today. My show will probably take place once a week. I'm going to really try to at least get one or two shows up a week for you guys. Uh, sorry about the hiatus and peace out. That's my two cents. <laughs>